Hi, I'm Sean Hessler from Natural Pass Without Borders, and you are watching the fifth video blog from our trip to Dominican Republic in Haiti. We are on the roof of the Leadership Housing Building. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. And as you can see, uh, most of the orphanage is visible from here. There are a lot of trees around. There's even a windmill to help generate electricity, which recharges the batteries. You can see the solar panels on top of the roof where we eat. And some of the surrounding area of Monte Cristi is also visible from here. So today we went into the same, the same school to teach three classes of English. So the first two classes went all right, certainly much better than yesterday when we seemed like deer in headlights, not quite sure what to do, not sure how to handle the kids. The class that seemed um, really hard to, hard to maintain um, yesterday ended up being a really great class today. We found a game called Slap It that they really loved and we just really went with that. So they were really learning their musical instruments well. So that was a blast. Um, last night we talked to Tom Eklund, the executive director of Orphanage Outreach, a bit more about um, some kind of visioning of ways that Natural Pass Without Borders and Orphanage Outreach could potentially work together in the future with various clinics around here and doing other public health education kinds of things in the community and in the schools, uh, as well as maybe getting some kind of gardening initiative going so that if we have a diabetic patient instead of saying eat this don't eat this but they don't really have access to the good foods that we would like them to eat now they have an opportunity to grow them and it's just it would be a more naturopathic approach to healthcare in general so um, talked to Tom last night for um, this evening we had a chat with the Mama Baby Haiti board and they told us that the remaining beds for the birth center have been donated. So they have 40 beds, which they will put for volunteers and staff, as well as um, for the women who will be giving birth in the birth center. They also have talked to a group who is donating a shipping container um, and they hope that they can get this secured for sure 100% because it'll let them put a lot of medical supplies into there, ship it right in, and then they'll be able to use the supplies for as long as they last. Um, the other major thing is that they've been talking to an LDS church group who would like to come into some of the communities and install um, new water pumps, clean water systems, so that at least the churches and the schools will have clean water so there'll be more pumps, less fighting at the pumps, cleaner water, less infantile diarrhea, as well as um, infrastructure in the future to get piping into individual houses as they get more funding. So that's very exciting. That's treating from the ground up. Hard to get a community healthier if the food they prepare and the water they drink are not clean and they're constantly battling infectious disease. So that's also exciting. Um, tomorrow we will be going to the capital in Santo Domingo, which is four to about five and a half hours of a drive. And it looks like it's going to be very exciting. There's the first Church of the Americas there. Um, a lot of history in this area because this is the island where Columbus landed. So the island of Hispaniola, if you remember from your early history classes. So. Um, that looks to be pretty exciting. Our gadget of the day is the Gorilla Pod. This uh, has been, oh, hello Pluton. We have a dog who lives in the orphanage just join us on the roof here. He's very nice. So the Gorilla Pod is amazing. It's totally saved me in some of the videos that I've been doing. Um, it's a mini tripod and this one is actually magnetized. So I can stick it to something metal, like a metal door or maybe even a car, and then attach my video camera or my camera to it. It also bends, so I can find, say, a pole. Hard to do this with a microphone. I can just wrap the Gorilla Pod around it. It has rubberized, bendable legs, put the camera on it, 
and again I can shoot almost anything. It weighs almost nothing. You can bend it into different shapes if you need help packing it and it's just been indispensable. So um, thanks for tuning in and I don't know if we'll be back tomorrow in time to upload another video but be prepared next time will be a video about the capital trip so stay tuned and again please comment on the video below and subscribe to our channel um, the more views the better help expose this thanks for tuning in good night